little bit of background about what this process was and what we have accomplished. All right, well, I can't remember how many years it was ago that I first came out here and talked to a committee of, of, of people, residents here, about what they could do to try to draw attention to the fact that this was a significant neighborhood uh, in terms of its architecture and also its preservation, the fact that you have 75 houses that only one of them has been significantly altered. Whereas if you look at all the other neighborhoods that were built in this area around that time, there are many intrusions now. Uh, buildings that have been totally replaced and other ones that are altered. So uh, I said that my first choice is always to have a local historic district, but Creve Court doesn't have a preservation ordinance. So the next thing is to list, be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And uh, that does not provide a lot of protection, but it is a great honor and will make people aware of the fact that they're living in a special place. Well, this is the first post-war subdivision in the entire state of Missouri to be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. and people all over the state are grateful to you for the work you've done because this is going to make it possible to preserve many other post-war uh, neighborhoods. Well, let me we appreciate and acknowledge your efforts toward the nomination of the United States to the National Register of Historic Places. Thank you for helping to preserve the heritage of the state of Missouri and the subdivision of Ladue Estates Creek Corps. It's signed by Michelle Diedrich, the survey coordinator, State uh, Historic Preservation Office, and Mark Miles, director and deputy state historic preservation officer. And uh, these are the people that, uh, well, especially Michelle Diedrich, uh, uh, we had worked very closely with her and uh, that carefully reviewed, I mean, Michelle carefully reviewed Leanne's work and pushed her into more and more and continued revisions, making the, the nomination ever so more complete. <laughs> and and, 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 and uh, uh, this in the next <laughs> way to get on my face. Signed by the Governor Jay Nixon, by Robin Carnahan, Secretary of State, and Mark Templeton, the Director of the Department of Natural Resources. It's during this period. Families left urban dwellings in search of a new way of living. Facilitated by the automobile, a suburban ranch house on one's own spread became the epitomized lifestyle goal. Innovations in architectural ideals of beauty and implementa implementations of these burst forth during the mid-century era. New materials, styles, and mechanisms led to many unique designs. We are lucky enough to be surrounded by these in Ladue Estates. Drive through and take a look. And when we comprehend them, our appreciation grows. I challenge everyone here to take the time to read and understand our history, and then try to convince me you do not see it with new eyes. <laughs> when I endeavored to prepare this nomination, I did so because I felt a duty to guard what had been described as a hidden gem. <laughs> 